the world is not flat. Yeah. That interaction it's, can happen between the tissue and the device that's not intact anymore. And that, um, you know, anything that's in contact with your tissue that is foreign causes a reaction. And that revs up your immune system. Now, everybody will have a different response to that. I'm not saying that, you know, everybody's going to get sick from that, mm -hmm. but there's going to be a response unless you're immunosuppressed and you can't respond. So explain that. So if you're immunosuppressed, you can't mount a response. Okay. And that's why, um, you know, when people are getting chemotherapy, they have really, really depressed white blood cell counts. And they give the, they don't want to get it too low. So they'll give them a uh, growth colony stimulating factor. They'll, they'll try to raise it to keep them above a threshold so they don't get sick. So, but in everybody else who's normal walking around, that will have a reaction. We just don't know exactly in you or I what's going to happen with that material in contact with our tissue. Um, I already know that if it's not ruptured, and I have bacterial contamination, I know there's an interaction back and forth and this oxidative reaction takes place and produces a molecule that stimulates the immune system. I don't think it's really complicated to think that something that's ruptured and leaking would do something similar. Yeah, yeah, I think that that seems logical. Yeah, so I always advise my patients who, you know, and my team knows this, 